So this is our last step of our um, data analysis. Um, so far, this was our data. Um, we had 30 data points. Then from there, we learned how to create histogram two different ways from insert option or from data option using data analysis. Then we learned how to um, generate um, probability density functions. And then um, we learned how to create the standard normalized probability density function, which is our G values all in Excel. So the final step, um, um, and if you also need to recap, we we'll, I'll put the links on the comment. Um, on the final step, we'll just create the uh, normal or Gaussian distribution, which is very easy. So I'll just say normal distribution. And um, you just have to norm dist. Um, you have to select that. So if you click on this one, it'll ask for X value. And you have to put mean, standard deviation, and cumulative. So for X value, which is our Z value, I'll select all those values. And then you have to put comma. And um, then I'll just put 0, 1, and false. Why I'm doing this, I'm going to explain it to you in a little bit, but let me do that. And you'll see it created the um, normalized plot. So how do I, how, how it looks like. So create again, another plot. And um, let's call it Gaussian distribution. Gaussian distribution. Um, G A U um, doubles i i n gaussian distribution um all you have to change the plot um so this one i'll just need um normal see there be norm and you don't need the bars but just to look good um i'm gonna change this one to to normal distribution okay so this is our gaussian distribution you see how we got the normal bell shape now coming back to what we did here uh, for normal distribution you know the um, function name is norm dist and it asks you on the first is the values so i selected the values that i want um, so those are my z values and um and uh, the next i put zero because next one was mean so if you think um, these values, it was negative 0.2, positive 0.2, negative 0.6, positive 0 0.6. So these are opposite. So the mean would be zero anyway if I find another mean. So that's why I put zero because the mean is zero. And uh, if the mean is zero, uh, then the standard um, then the standard deviation is one. So that's why I put one. And then um, I put false. Because um, when you put false, it generates the um, um, normal density function, which is the formula is this one. So that's why I put false. That's why it pro plotted the normal uh, probability function. But uh, if you put true, see what happens. If you just put true, it will just um, do, um, see? Um, cumulative percentage um, increase. So um, that's why um, it's, a, it's not the normal distribution. It's, it's just the normal distribution, but for um, cumulative percentage. So that's why we have to put uh, false here so that we just, we what we want is that normal density function. So I'll just keep false and that's your normal uh, Gaussian distribution. So um, this is was the last part of our basic um, data analysis. Uh, we created the uh, histogram, uh, then probability density function, and from the probability density function, um, we we uh, created the standard normalized probability density function, the R Z values, um, and then from there we created the um, Gaussian um, or uh, normal distribution. Um, so thank you.